Hello Capricorn, welcome to your December 1st through 15th reading. This is a, a uh, collective reading for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Therefore, there's a lot of information for a lot of different people all at the same time. The only task you have is to choose what belongs to you by running it past your heart energy. Uh, you'll know because it'll speak to you. If it's not, if it's not for you, then leave it. It's for another Capricorn. Uh, you don't have to try to make anything fit. If it doesn't fit with what's going on in your life, it's, it's a cycle for someone else. Uh, stay tuned, though, because I use two different decks. There's a clarifying deck coming out, so that'll also change it for some of you to be able to have what little piece of information you're watching to receive. So without any further delay, thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirits, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow Capricorn to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. Thank you so much, divine, for being present here to allow Capricorn and all sun, moon, and rising Capricorn energies to have this blessed information. You are always appreciated and very welcome here. Thank you so much. I'll take this brief moment to uh, remind you that December 1st will begin the daily readings. Uh, the first month will be December that I will be giving them away uh, for free. And after that, in January, I will start the membership process. So you can have a sample of that for the month of December and decide if you want to pay $4.99 for it for the each month thereafter. Uh, we're also going to have all the new, the yearly ones come out uh, very soon. So there's a lot happening. Stay tuned. I'm going to be a busy little bee. So if you'd like a private reading, anything in here that ex to expand on something or to get some information that you specifically want, please go to royalmystic.com. I'll be happy to do a private personal reading that suits your energy. So Capricorn, we have the Two of Cups here. This is a divine union, either between your, it's either the recognition of your higher self and the uh, union of your, sometimes we're a little divided and we don't have that um, grounded unity within ourself to realize that our higher self is really in control. And once you realize that, it changes your, your whole paradigm of the way you see the world. In a, for other people, this will be a, their divine soulmate. This is having that divine union in that love and cherished way. Uh, the cups here are, stand for emotion, love. Uh, the, the, that's very, very powerful energy. So some of you are having some amazing uh, things happen in that area. So in your here and now, we have a blast from the past. This is the resurrection of something. It would be the Archangel Gabriel blowing his horn, bringing in the energy of, of resurrection, which would be bringing back something that uh, maybe you lost hope in. Uh, it could be uh, an item that was lost that you all of a sudden hear it turns up. It can be going back to an old uh, place that you used to live, a city or town. It can be uh, moving back to a home that you grew up in or uh, previously lived in or, you know, the street. Um, it can also be uh, an opportunity showing back up uh, that you thought was lost. It can be a person, a uh, person, place, or thing. Uh, I don't try to dwell on that because it can be so many other things as well. Uh, whatever it is, your heart's desire is being granted. So whatever it is you're wishing for it to be uh, a second chance at, it looks like the universe is saying yes. With that comes in some action. Uh, the Nine of Cups brings in the, the celebration of, uh, of getting your heart's desire granted. And this is taking action when it's time. Now this can have to do with a job. Somebody maybe, uh, some of you have been trying for a job and you've applied there many times. Uh, and for different positions that have come available and some of you actually may be having the opportunity for that because this is a lifetime of money 
This is a job with amazing benefits and that will be able to sustain you in a very high fashion. This is a large amount of money. The Ten of Coins is the pentacle of, of how high you can get in your um, salary range. So we have the World card here and very, very good energy as far as feeling like you're on top of the world. Stepping through the new uh, threshold. Beginning your divine journey in the next cycle. This is a victory card. This is very hard work that's been put in. And this is the champion being awarded that top of the pedestal. It's like a top of a trophy. So uh, you also may be deciding whether or not you're going to move. Uh, looking for a place to live or, or deciding you know, where, where you're going to go next. So if you've graduated this this you know this energy here is showing this triumphant energy where you're making something happen or you're moving into this new life this is looking out into the horizon going okay i've achieved this here i am what what are my possibilities what's out there for me world hello world let's let's do some stuff so this is your higher self lighting the path for you showing you what's out there for you and this this card shows up sometimes when people are looking for a place to live, looking for a, uh, it, say if you're moving to a job and you need a, to move to a new city. This is the universe. This is the masculine form of the universe. This is the emperor. He is the all-seeing, all-knowing, uh, very worldly wise. And uh, if it's a person in your life, it would be an older person who has a lot of life experience, who cares for you very much and wants the very best for you. Um, this is uh, also the universe showing up saying, I got you. I got your back. This is whatever happens. I'm right here with you. I support you. I'm protecting you. I'm ready to help you get where you want to go. So here we are with the five of cups, which can be uh, just saying, oh God, come on, let's get to the good stuff. Okay. Okay. Uh, the, the process may seem long and winding, but you definitely are moving in the right direction. This is for some of you, you've, you're either just finishing school or you're in some kind of uh, course that's teaching you something new. Or maybe a new, you had a job that's taught you a new skill or some, something you're learning. This is all about, this is the apprentice card. So this is somebody who's, who's a greenhorn. Okay, that's my... That I just heard that word. So this is having uh, the pinnacles are coming in. It's the possibility of new abundance. So uh, whatever you're doing is going to pay off big. And this is telling you, as I said before, manifesting your dream is bringing in your energy and keeping it positive and focus on the outcome. If you focus on the outcome, the universe will take care of how and when and, how, and you know, all of that divine timing stuff. But you've got to keep yourself positive. And sometimes it takes a long time. In our human mind, it feels like it's forever, but it's really not. Uh, you've just got to stay focused. It takes as long as it takes for how, you know, it's, how long does it take? As long as it takes. How hard do you work? As hard as you have to. Do whatever it takes for as long as it takes. That's the answer. Whatever it takes. For as long as it takes. Okay. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirits, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you for being present here to allow Capricorn to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. Thank you so much, divine. You're always welcome here and your presence is very appreciated. Okay, so some of you are actually in, embarking on the relationship. This is a wedding card. This is a threshold energy. This is entering in a new life together in a stable foundation. It can also be making the commitment to a job. So if it's some of you are having the relationship, starting your new life together, beginning all of that, this would be uh, committing to it. And if it's if you aren't in a relationship or you're already established in a relationship, this is about committing to your new path as far as what, what new choices you've made in your life together. So 
for some of you, the blast from the past is going to be revealed. This is the moon card. This is whatever it is will come to light. So if they haven't, if it hasn't shown up yet, it's about to. And we have the nine of cups, which is your heart's desire being granted. And then you have this devil card on top of it. Now the devil card has a couple of meanings. Uh, this can be self-sabotage. This can be negative thinking. So whatever it is that you're asking for, if you, uh, once you get it, you may turn completely around and destroy all of your happy energy by being afraid. This is the fear card. This is anxiety, panic, suppressive energy. So please uh, know that you are the one in control of this and allow yourself to receive the blessing and not go into panic mode and anxiety mode. Now, for the ones of you who are getting married, this would also be the cold feet. So here's the celebration. You know, there's always the toast at the wedding, and here's the cold feet. Okay, so don't let yourself be sabotaged by that. Uh, then here, and it might have to do with whatever's being revealed from the past here. So there might be something involved with a complete and total panic or someone showing up from the past that's completely a pain in the neck. So this can be very narcissistic, negative, controlling. So it might be an in-law. It, <laughs> it could be some of that or an ex that shows back up and tries to interfere with everything. So there's many possibilities. Uh, I'll leave it to you if it applies to you. Uh, the Knight of Wands, which is taking action, and the Declaration of Love. This is the page coming in saying, I love you, let's get this, or the offer of the job. Okay, that's what this page is about. It's a heartfelt offer. Um, and some of you, this the blast from the past is all about the work. So some of you, it's about a person or someone coming back in, something coming back around, definitely having to do with a job. So that's what this 10... Ten of Coins is all about. And you are the coins. You're a Capricorn, so coins is your energy. Now, you've got the Emperor two times here. You've got the Emperor at the top now, on top of this. So he's saying, this victory is yours, and I'm here beside you to help you. New beginning. Definitely what this card's about. Okay, searching. And then... Starting on your starting on your way. So here he is trying to decide what direction he wants to go. Now he's got the plan. He's ready to head out. This is the fool. And it is the cycle of life energy. Because it's a zero in the major arcana. Which means it's a, sim, a, a seamless change. So whatever ends. Whatever you're going through. Here you step through this doorway. And boom. You're on your path. Okay. So it won't feel like a big... Uh, uplift you know uprooting thing you're just it's going to be a natural flow which is the the best way to have a beginning here is the emperor same energy very protective very dynamic and your capricorn energy is with it so for some of you this relationship is uh this beautiful relationship here down here with this emperor and this uh, Queen of Pentacles, which is all about having that very grounded, safe, stable, loving relationship. Uh, and for some of you, it's about having the support of the universe through your new uh, endeavors. So, in your career and finance, you have the Five of Cups with the Ace of Cups on top of it. So, do not cry, fair maiden. Do not worry. Uh, or, 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 uh, say, I guess, what was it? Knave. <laughs> Knight, okay? Uh, do not, do not shed a tear. You have the blessing of the universe here on top of you, the Ace of Cups. Uh, this is the divine Holy Grail. This is divine energy giving you a blessing of, of intuition, of eternal, uh, uh life, healing, health, prosperity. This is a beautiful abundant cup. So this is a sacred blessing. And definitely you seeking your fortune. That's what this card's all about. So you're traveling out, you're whatever you've you've learned in the past or as you learn, you're moving forward and taking advantage of that. So some of you are moving to another city 
with a new job, but it's okay because you have the universe assisting, assisting you. So it's the right time. And here you have the energy of the magician, which is where you're focusing on your, your goal, what it is you want in your life, bringing positive energy to make it manifest and concentrating only on the goal. And here is the Knight of Swords who is clearing the way as you travel. So he is making sure that nothing is in the way. He's cutting through all the things that could stop you or hold you back or catch you, trip you up. This is the way maker and it's also divine inspiration. He's carrying, he's riding like the wind. Okay, so there you have it Capricorn. This is an amazing reading. Uh, a lot of you are having some really great stuff happen. So don't let this funky person rain on your parade because every single one of these other cards are amazing. And I think this is a separate person from all of that who's just coming in to, to be a pain in the neck and throw a wrench in it. So just because they're miserable doesn't mean you have to be. Have a, have a wonderful, wonderful December. Thank you so much for all the blessings that you guys have bestowed on me with all of your positive messages. I love each and every one of you. I hope I have blessed you with these readings. That's my intention. And uh, please keep your eyes open for the uh, dailies that are coming starting December 1st. And I will see you soon. Many, many blessings. Namaste. Thank you all for everything. Bye-bye.